As dawn broke, the peace and serenity of this beautiful Ugandan morning was shattered by the bellow of a wild animal. Clarkson! Last night, while Hammond and May were around the campfire discussing Uganda, I made an interesting modification to my car. Yesterday I discovered hill starts were very difficult. I can't ride the clutch because of the throttle problem and I can't use the handbrake because it's broken. So what I've done is fitted this log at the back. You tow it along normally, but then when you want to start on a hill, you let the car roll back onto it, use it as a wedge and set off easily. It's simple, it's elegant, it's brilliant. Look at it. I mean, that looks like it was done with a knife and fork by the council. It's not square, it's not neat, he's wasted material, he's left sharp edges, it's all bent. I cannot conceive of the mind of a man who would look at that and think that was the right way to do it. I don't mind you taking a bit of my bonnet, that's fair. I do mind you doing such an appalling bloody job of it, you ham-fisted oaf. Honestly, I could do a better job than that with the end of a bulldozer. Well, I, I couldn't find any tools. The back of the car is full of bloody tools. The biggest tool in this operation was you. A pair of tin sets looks like a pair of robust scissors, and their function is obvious. They are obviously not a hammer. This could go off. Watch this. Roll back. The wooden handbrake is holding me, I simply set off. Sometimes my genius is... It's almost frightening. But look on the bright side, James. It's going to be a scorcher today. Oh, my God! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Did that...? Oh, dear! <laughs> and now, Rwanda. I don't know anything about Rwanda. As it turned out, James knew even less. James? What? Apparently they drive on the other side of the road in Rwanda. Do they really? James, really, we're not fooling you. Yeah, yeah. I'm afraid things may have got a little out of hand in camp last night, but it's good news. I found another piece of scrap metal and I managed to mend my bonnet. I'll admit, I was furious when James stole my bonnet scoop. But then on Jeremy's car, I found something that does the job just as well. I'm calling it the poop scoop. I was a bit cross about losing my lavatory, but then, staggeringly, in the middle of a remote field in Tanzania, I found a rear window that fitted into the back of my car. I mean, it looks like it's meant to be there. Look, I'm going to divide this up. I'm going to find some rope. You go and find some oil drums. You go and get some wood. And some wood. Not convinced. Yes! Well, you're nearly assured. Aren't I assured? Not, not entirely assured, no. Yes, I'm assured. Is that wheel assured? Yes. I am sure. Power. Who? Some of you's on board. Now, you've got... Whoa, we've got a problem. No. No. So that's all completely hopeless, and you've sunk the raft, and your cat flap's terrible. Forward. Oh, my God. Well, credit where it's due. Thank Come you. on. <laughs> You've got to admit, that is quite a finish. Come on. With a flourish. 
that's the first time, I think, in ten years we've ever done anything ambitious and successful. Yeah, no, I think you're right. It, and doesn't it feel good, It actually? feels weird, frankly. We just feel normally there's one of us in the water, in the jaws of a lion, going, oh, oh it's oh, dead. Yeah, it was genuinely peculiar. You oh, my God. Since that could have happened to us. It Imagine. could have done. But, but it didn't. didn't. Just right, onwards. onwards.